Hi everyone, welcome to Papo Embalado, the video cast brought to you by Valgrup. I'm your host, Carlos Santos, and today we are taking a close look at the life cycle assessment of plastics. We are joined by Dr. Chris Diarmit, the scientist and author of the book The Plastic Paradox, and Evandro Casaro, commercial director of PAT at Valgrup. And also, Valfner Leitão, Retail Packaging Director at Val Group. Let's get started. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for being here with us. This episode, we are talking about LCA that you know very well. I'd like to st start with Dr. De Armit. And Chris, can you explain what a life cycle assessment is and why is it so important in evaluating sustainability of materials, especially like plastics? Yeah. So life cycle analysis is the only scientifically proven way to know what causes more harm and what causes less harm. And the way you do that is you add up all of the impact. So let's say I'm going to make uh, a bottle. I need to look at the impact of making the polymer and then heating the polymer, forming the polymer into a bottle, filling the water into it, shipping it to the customer, customer drinking it, disposing of it. It includes every impact, all the chemicals used, any pollution, effect on water, greenhouse gas, fossil fuel, everything is included. And it's done according to a standard, an ISO or an ASTM standard. So you have to follow a certain method. And whatever you do has to be checked by an external person so that you can't cheat. Uh, so that's why life cycle analysis is important, because it's the only proven way to know what causes more harm and what causes less harm. If you have no life cycle analysis, it's just people's opinions, and that doesn't really, you know, that doesn't really work. And, and that is what uh, people used to call from cradle to the grave. Yes, they have cradle okay, to the grave. Because you, you, you pick all the, the, the journey. Let's yes. call it like that of the material. Even including any repair that you have to make to a car, that would be included. Even the waste at the end, how the waste is disposed of is included. Yeah. All right. Evandro, that goes for you. And uh, how has Vol Group applied life cycle assessment in its PT and in its PT recycling process? And what are the benefits for the, the Brazilian market? Right. So yeah, indeed, we do apply LCA, life cycle assessment, to our recycling operations. Um, and, and the main benefit I see with that is that LCA provides us with uh, data, important data for us to uh, be able to optimize the process, the recycling process, and as, as a consequence, reduce the environmental impact. Uh, so if you look at uh, uh, LCAs, um, uh, you can use a life cycle assessment in a recycling operation to, for instance, identify or quantify uh, the energy use, the water consumption, the, uh, the, the, the emissions that you have in that recycling operations, the carbon emissions, and, and determine which process are the most adequate for you and, 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 and determine uh, the effectiveness of your recycling process. Uh, in our particular case, for instance, it was, uh, it was crucial uh, to identify that uh, producing recycle, recycled uh, PET in Brazil can be more effective and less carbon uh, uh, emissions, uh, right? Uh, because in our particular case, most of the, uh, the energy that we use comes from renewable sources, right? So if you compare that with other uh, countries that rely more on a fossil fuel uh, energy uh, source, uh, you realize that you have a huge advantage from the standpoint of sustainability producing recycled PET in Brazil. So yes, we do believe that uh, life cycle assessment is uh, paramount for any sustainability discussions. One, one quick question and curiosity. How does work this LCA? Is it mandatory? Who, who uh, uh, contract that kind of study? How does it work? Companies, all of the companies do it, do it by their selves? Oh, it's not mandatory. And that should be in my, my point of view. 
uh, because sometimes people don't realize the benefits that you can get from LCAs. As Chris have mentioned before, uh, if you look at LCAs in detail, you, you get information about whether this material for that type of packaging is really sustainable or is only circular, for instance, right? And I'll give you an example. Uh, if you take uh, metallic cans for beverage, right? We see metallic cans for water and, and, and CSD and so forth. It, it is, uh, aluminum is uh, uh, circular, but is not as sustainable as PET. As a matter of fact, in this particular case, the metallic cans can be as much as 38% more carbon emissions than a PET for, for that packaging. So it is not mandatory, uh, but should be uh, in some cases uh, because it does guide the sustainability discussions. Does it work like that in the other countries? Yeah, it's not mandatory. And um, it's a good point you make. People confuse circularity with what's green. What is your goal, to make a circle or to cause the least harm? The goal should not be to run after circularity all the time because sometimes circular is actually worse for the environment. Correct. If you think about a dog running in a circle, right? Have you got a dog? I mean, they can run in a circle. You still need to feed the dog. It's using energy. It's wearing out the grass. It has to produce some waste at some point when it's running. So these circles that they, grow, they draw online, like a perfect circle, it's not true. You're using energy to make this circle work. You're creating new waste and new problems. You're changing a waste problem into an energy problem. And so uh, you have to be careful to do a life cycle analysis and really have the numbers to know whether what you're doing is green. So they've done studies where recycling concrete is not green. You get nothing from it. It's neutral. You might as well make new concrete. If you have glass and you collect it and it has to be shipped more than 100 miles, now the shipping of the glass makes it not green anymore. You do, do too much damage in the trucking and uh, burning fuel. So this is the reason that life cycle analysis is important. And sometimes people say to me, well, it's not perfect, but it is, it is very, very good. People think that life cycle analysis is just carbon dioxide, and it's not true. There are 12 factors, as we saw in a talk today, which are included. Everything is included, and this has been honed over many decades. So this is not a new thing. Scientists have improved this all the time. So it really is the only way that really works. And nothing is perfect, but if you don't use the LCA, then you're just tossing a coin to decide what is greenest, and that doesn't work. And, and this is a compass to the market and to, do, to the, everyone uh, concerned about the environment to know how is the better product for, you, for what kind of applications. Yeah, and an important point is that non-profit organizations, NGOs, they accept LCA. They even sometimes pay for an LCA. The governments accept it. The companies accept it. Academia accepts it. This is something that everyone accepts and has been around for a long time. And... and, and Talking about the, the Plask LCA, in your book, you revealed that, re and this is a very uh, interesting uh, data you, you, you brought. In your, book, in your book, you revealed that replacing plastic packaging with alternative materials would lead to a 3.6 fold increase in the amount of material required. Why is this such a, a critical fact, for, uh, for instance, for sustainability policies? Yeah. So the best way to look at LCAs is not to look at any one LCA because there's always the opportunity to try to cheat, right? So you should never fully rely on one LCA, even though there's a standard. What I do is I collect every LCA. So on bags, there are 30 LCAs in the world done by universities and independent organizations. And they all agree that the plastic bag causes least harm, less than paper, less than cotton, and that's, that's why it's important to look at them all. If you look at these drink containers, there are six LCAs on this, and everyone says that the PET bottle is the greenest solution, much better than glass, much better than metal. And the problem we have is the people selling glass and metal want to tell us the opposite, right? And that's why it's important to have data, because these people are dying to get our dollars out of our pocket. They're dying to sell us something and tell us that it's green, but unless they have a life cycle analysis, you can't believe them. And that's why, that's why companies like... Um, you know, credible companies who really care about their reputation and really care about doing the right thing, they pay for an LCA. And this is not free. I mean, these companies are spending real money to make sure they have real scientific data to show their customers and to be good people. And that should be respected. Sure. Okay. Wolfiner, how LCA, uh, how is LCA shaping packaging decisions in the Brazilian retail market, especially regarding the sustainability of plastic alternatives? 
So uh, as Chris uh, has said, I mean, uh, so first of all, uh, we have to put in mind and say we have to be clear that uh, the best option we have for retail when it comes to bags is the plastic bags, okay? So, but uh, in Brazil, and also I believe that all over the world, I mean, the, the, uh, this business is cost-driven. So here in Brazil, we have some alternatives. We have the, the plastic t-shirt bags, for example, that we see all over the place here, but we have the alternatives like a paper bags, for example. But they are too much expensive. So regardless of the, the LCA, I mean, the, the, the result of the LCA, just like uh, Chris said, I mean, we have 30, 30 the LCAs just for bags. So to compare the alternatives, the, the, the bags, the grocery bags for, uh, for uh, different kinds. So plastics, they're the best one. So regardless which, which is the best, as they are cost, cost driven, so they choose the plastic ones. But what happens in Brazil is the legislation. So if you ask the customer, say, what, what, uh, what type of, uh, say, what alternative you, you need for your business? Plastics, because it's the best solution by far, by far. From this third analysis they have put in place, all the results say, they, they say the same. So plastics. But the, the thing is, what's happening here in Brazil is legislation. And so legislation, it's, trying to replace the, uh, the plastic bags by some other products, some other alternatives. Compostable, for example, sometimes paper bag. So, but uh, what we have to do, let's say, we use the LCA in order to show our customers, you are doing the right thing, cost-wise, environmental-wise. And so we are right. I mean, you don't have, let's say, you don't have to, to, to be scared. You are doing the right thing. And so as we use LCA in the retail business is in this way, just to explain to our customers, okay, you are not doing anything wrong. You are not against the environment. You are doing the right thing. And so you have to use this information, which is scientific information. So it's done by, just like uh, Chris said, by universities all around the world. And so pick this information and talk to the, the, the Congress people or the to the politicians. If they come with a legislation which, which doesn't make any sense, for example, with a compostable uh, plastic, or plastic, not com plastic, but uh, compostable bags for supermarkets, doesn't make any sense. Because it's, uh, according to the studies, according to the LCA, it's, it's, it's worse in terms of uh, environment protection. So that's why, let's say, this is how you're using the LCA in the, in the retail market, to help the customers, to make them their business profitable, first of all, because this is an expense for them. They, they don't resell the, 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 the T-shirt bags. They buy it. They don't resell it. They give it for free. So they don't make money on it. And so if they have to replace this one by a compostable, it's a 10 times more expensive. And so what, which is the right solution cost-wise and environmental-wise? This one, the, t the plastic t-shirt bags. Am I clear? Is that right? All right. This Here is an important point because at the moment, people who care about the environment are paying more money for something which is scientifically certain to increase harm. And it doesn't make any sense. The people who really care are buying cotton bags, which are 200 times worse than a plastic bag for the environment. And they're waving it around proudly, feeling like a good person. So the people who actually care are doing the wrong things because they have the wrong information. And that's ironic. If you look over, like you said, if you look over time, if you look at, let's say, 100 life cycle analysis, you see that usually the cheapest solution is the greenest one. Why? Because an LCA includes how much water did you use to make this product? How much shipping was there? How much gasoline did you have to use to make it? How much heat was there? All of these things are the same things which go into the cost. So usually the cheapest thing is, is the greenest thing. So when it comes to a straw, the, the greenest is no straw, just say no. And then if you want to take a straw, then the plastic one is, is the greenest option. It's greener than paper. So that's the ironic thing. People who care are voluntarily wasting their money to increase harm, and that's a scientific fact. Yeah, but you mentioned that in your book, uh, uh, something I, I, I recall, uh, like, uh, 
externalization of virtues. Yes, yes. Uh, People want to feel good about themselves. So studies also show that bags and bottles and things are not, not really affecting the environment. So I took one trip to go to a um, United Nations event and talk about the environment. And that trip in an airplane was the same impact as 15,000 PET bottles, which is more than I will use in my whole life. So people are flying around to talk about saving the environment and doing more harm than they can ever do, than they can ever decrease by having the meeting. Yeah. And that's why, that's why life cycle analysis is important. People are doing things which are totally crazy and missing the things which could be really helping. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're making legislation. Why would you say this is the greenest option, the cheapest option, and then make a law that makes it yeah. illegal? That's it, just It stupid. makes no sense at all. Mm -hmm.